Welcome to Yorkshire Man Models. Today is the Edward Profit Pack Edition MiG 21 PFM scale of, scale of 172. Profit Pack means you usually get lots of added extras with it. It's the most you tend to get with the kit for this one. With Edward. They do a, a really good weekend edition and you don't tend to get as much uh, photo etch parts and stuff like that but 172 scales tend to be quite cheap anyway from them in the box in fact before we do the box we'll show you what we've got on the outside there you go there is one two three four five color schemes there color schemes go from the germany air base 1991 it says there vietnam republic of vietnam the Czech one I believe that is, Spring 1990, CSFR, that is the another Czech one I believe, that's 1991, and the Egyptian Air Force there, that's the German version. Right, we'll start with what you've got in the box, one pack of clear parts. One bag of sprues, one large instruction manual. You've got a set of decals, and you've got a second set, both in the same packet. We've got, yes, that looks like canopy maskings and we have got a photo edge part and it looks to have lots of already painted parts on it so first off instruction manual these are used pretty good from Edward well detailed easy to follow instructions and you can see there we have gotten already Make it cockpit as it goes through. You've got your photo edge parts, PE sevens, and your normal sprue parts, which are like D5, D69, like that. They're optional decals if you want to use decals rather than the photo edge parts and that, which I I think photo edge you're going to use it. You've paid for it in all honesty. First off, I'll just show you here, I believe the blue, uh, yeah, parts not for use. You can just see on that side there, there is a lot, a lot of parts in that kit that you get, you're not going to use. So it might look like a lot, but hey. The second page is showing you making your engines. Connecting the main sections together with your cockpit and your engine at the back, I'm saying engines, it looks like one. That's a good way to hide the actual seam that runs down there so you're not sanding your hell out of it. And you're attaching obviously your wings and stuff here. You can see warnings for something, I believe it's the tilt for the wheels if you're having them down, but I, I am ready, I'm just presuming at the moment. Again more about the undercarriage there fitting and this I uh, couldn't say what it is it could be anything really. They're all parts going on I don't know what they are and looks like finishing off there you've got F it looks like doing the seat last which is very strange but there you can just see and you've got your photo etch parts to go into your seat as well. Can't say I've had to do that before last, but yeah, yeah. There's your seat going in at the end. And then you've obviously you've got your parts for their photo etch parts, but it looks two uh, mirrors. But you've got your parts for your canopy, and then you're finishing off there, and then you come to the masking. Shows you there where the, the actual masking's going. Missiles, bombs, etc. 
there and then it's giving you what weapon loadout you would have on which variant you are actually building so you need to just cross reference to make sure you put in the right ones on that's all or you can put what you want on makes a difference really it's up to you love that color i think that's the one i'll probably be doing but there's the german one 1991 one b is a czechoslovakia yeah it is czechoslovakia air force one c is the vietnamese which looks quite quite nice actually with that dot colour scheme the Egyptian one again looks quite good and the final one is another Czechoslovakian Air Force one and that's a really nice top up there bright colours especially with that that stripe going round here's your fuselages for your left and right explaining your stencils or your, your, your decals to go on them there and your decals for the rest there for your missiles bombs like you get it you always get a lot of decals all of this each one is telling you where you put your, your main decals for that one that you're doing a b c d so there you go instructions put them to one side we shall do the bag of sprues now we are Now, put that to one side and we'll do each one then, individual. And the main one, which has got all of your main sections by the look. And this is Sprue, when I find it, F. Sprue F. Alright. As usual, with Edward, I can't see any flash. Beautiful, beautiful kit there can see from the actual panel lines rivets all, all of it all, all of this is just absolutely beautiful lots of tiny little detail I don't know if you can see that on one of the uh, just the amount of tiny rivet markings very nice Obviously, you're seeing a lot of uh, where it's been put. In fact, I'm saying that these actually look as if it, they'd been left stuck out so that they're going to grab something. In all honesty, looking at that. But yeah, even the even that part there, very fine. Even that one, bet you I break that off. But even that's nice. That's one sprue. This one is H. This one seems to have some of your pylons. I believe that's part of the CT cockpit. Looks like it again. Cockpit details. Look at that. that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, there you go. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. The amount of detail they've got into that is just fantastic. This is why I've, I've fallen in love a bit with Edward kits at the minute because they're so well done. And this is Sprue D. I believe these is your engines stuff more than anything here. That looks like part of the seat there. But yeah, more looks like cockpit sections. All of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with that. That's nice, that one. That one is, where are we? Sprue D, yeah, Sprue D. Last but not least, I think we're hitting the missile systems and stuff here because you can see there's more, it's like pylons, but you've got a lot of your bombs, fuel tanks, whatever it is, missiles, the lot, there's lots of them there. And looking at what the instructions says, a lot of these are not used anyway, but yeah, it looks well. There's no, no flash anywhere, I can't see no injector pins on this side. Obviously, that side's a different matter. In fact, you can't really see many on that either. But the main thing is, this side, what's seen, you can't see anything. And that's what you want. We'll now do the clear plastic. When I get it out. 
I'm always a bit careful with the clear plastic because the worst thing you can do is break a part off. I wish they'd give you a slightly bit bigger bag than that, but there you go. And we've got the cockpits, and that's scuffed there already. It's very faint, but it's I've got to, I'll have, I'm going to have to work on that because that is quite a, a biggish scuff. That I have no idea if you can see it, but to me, I can quite well. It's as if it's been dropped and rubbed across somewhere. We've got all these small parts here. You, you've got your uh, foot cockpits. Uh, you've got and the these look like it's for the front but it looks like it's if you've got it open or closed I don't know that might be why you've got that one and that one for open or closed but it's probably just a different variants more small parts with details on lots of them lots it looks nice just a shame about that one because all the other ones are absolutely perfectly clean crisp spot on Right, we'll drop that back in there. Uh, okay, go on, go on, go on, go on. Break anything? Yep. The decals, stencils, whatever you want to call them. Transfers. Loads of different people call them different things. Right. Small ones first. These are tiny and these will probably do my head in, but they don't half make the kit at the end. Smooth as anything. Can't feel any of them. And that's probably good. I do not think these are the peelable decals. But they might be. It says 2021, so they might be, but I wouldn't like to put money on it yet. And then the main ones, which are these, now these, I can just feel these big ones, which is probably a good thing, because they'll probably just turn into nothing, if not, they do, they feel okay, they feel nice stuff. You've got, there's your decals, I think, for cockpit, if you want it, yeah, another one there, but yeah, very nice, beautiful colouring, kind of gorgeous. We'll put that to the side and we'll... that is just a masking sheet there's nothing really to see except for it's been already engraved so that you can peel them off perfectly but I'll get this out of the bag because this looks spot on come on in fact I will get the card out with because I think you'll see it better with that behind it. Oh, tiniest bags in the world. Oh, yeah, you see that better. Now, now, let's see if I can get this. Oh, you're doing well, camera. And you can see we've gotten the three different pieces for cop pit so that you get a, a nice dashboard so you'll have like probably the black one the green one and then that one or whichever way it goes you'll have them to thingy it's the same here you've got two sets there same here you've got some more tiny bits there there's the seat belt can i just get it a bit closer look here you go lovely they're nice when they're already painted you've got some normal ones here there's some more seat belt there i, I think they could be, and if they are, they are really well done. I think they might be your grab handles that they pull. You know, like they grab it and pull it like that for when they're ejecting. I think they might be that, but I, I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I think they are. But yeah. That is beautiful. I'm paid, I think it was about 20 quid for kit. I'll, I will put up. On video now, what exactly it is I paid for it. I think it might have even been less than that, but I think I paid about 20 quid for it. It's not a bad price for a nice kit like that. But, hope this has helped you. You can now see what you're getting in box. You can see it's worth that extra few extra quid to get these kind of parts that you get. Your stencils, that kind of stuff. But I'll be honest with you, if there's a, a, a normal version, you'll probably get these decals anyway and these are the de that's why you'll have 
more than any of the uh, ones for cockpit there but as a whole you can't knock the extras you get and how good a kit you get when you get a profit pack but you've got to weigh up what you want to pay so I hope it's helped you if it has give us a like if you've enjoyed the video give us a like as well be appreciated more than any if you can subscribe if you've not subscribed yet there'll be more videos going up and I've got another Edward going up at some point soon which is the Spitfire which is definitely a lovely little kit it's well raved about thanks for watching catch you later